Welcome back, this is Bonus Scuba with more Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. I am joined, as always, by my Rebel Squad of Glenn, Elvis, Coco, and I guess Bannon. I have done a little bit of rearranging of my party, as you can see. Elvis is now in the back row because his blitzes will not suffer any penalty from him being in the back row, and I'm pretty much going to be using blitzes all the time. Uh, in terms of relics, I do have the Atlas Armlet and the Running Shoes on Glenn, Hyperist and True Knight on Elvis, and the White Cape and the Sprint Shoes on Coco. Bannon will not let me look at his stuff. Uh, in terms of equipment, I think everybody is the same. As far as I remember, that is the same. Let's go ahead and get out of the Returner's Hideout. We need to head towards what sounds like water. I think we were told we need to go to the river. Here is the river, Leet River. Here we go, this raft will take us to Narsh. How about the raft? Of course! Head towards Narsh, but protect Bannon at all costs. If Bannon is put out of commission, your journey's over. Yes, if he gets to zero HP, you cannot use a Phoenix down on him for whatever reason, and you lose. I don't understand either. Let's just move on and get into a battle. We are up against a Nautiloid and Exocyte, and it is time for me to show off a, a new Blitz. Oh, you're really going to use ink? I don't care about ink. Uh, no, yes. Auto crossbow, please. No, Bannon, uh, he can heal himself uh, if you w want to do that kind of a thing, uh, but really he's not really good for anything he just needs to stay alive which is why he's got health all the time I am doing the down over to left attack for blitz and that is orable which is very very nice and is probably going to be doing the most damage for me let's just move on and here we are presented with our first choice we'll have two choices here we can go straight left or right I will be going left pretty much because it's the shortest. There are no items or anything like that. Oh, Pterodon, this does not look good. Go or a bolt and a noise blaster, actually. Now I should start probably using some magic here. Uh, yeah, we'll just do it on everybody. Can you use, you can use health on everybody, that's right. You go ahead and do that. Noise blaster will confuse my enemies and I don't believe magic will fix we'll change that let's try to use the other one I have tr I do have a, a bit of trouble using this other blitz for whatever reason damn you guys do not like yourselves there we go suplex oh uh, you can't suplex something in the air I guess sure why not but at least with Ben in here we don't have to heal ourselves uh, using Coco we can just attack and use fire if we want to Glenn gains a level. Ah, very nice. And we also get a potion. Potions are always appreciated. It doesn't matter which way you go, uh, the left, well, you'll all end up in the same spot. Let's just keep going. Like I said, it'll always end up in the same spot. We haven't quite gotten there yet. Doesn't matter which way you go. Let's just keep going down the river, and I do believe we're very close to where it merges. More pterodons. I will be honest, though, I didn't realize you got suplex this early in the game pretty much to start. That is a little surprising to me here. We do have a save point. Uh, I don't think I need to use it though, so I'm just going to move on. And we'll just continue going. Now, the enemies here aren't particularly tough. And to be honest, I've always thought this game was a little easy because you never really have to just regular battle. Uh, but of course the game compensates for that. Uh, we're going to go... Can it... I think if I go left it goes in a circle, so we'll, we'll just show that off once because I think there is an actual save point that we can encounter there. Is this it? This is it. But I don't think we need to use it once again. But it is here in case you are struggling for whatever reason. Uh, like I said, we hardly ever need to use just the regular attack command, and therefore I've always kind of seen this game as relatively easy, uh, but that does rely on you knowing what you're doing a lot of the time. 
I am raking in the experience, though. Like I said, I think this takes me around in a big circle, which doesn't necessarily make sense to me, but we'll just move on. No, it doesn't take me in a circle. What? What is it? And it is boss time. We're up against Ultros here. This guy likes to talk. <laughs> Game over. Don't tease the octopus, kids. Uh, yeah, like I said, in these battles, I'm never just plain fighting. Uh, we'll do another Aura Bolt, because I don't believe we can suplex him. Uh, seafood soup! Can I poison him? I don't think I can. Ink? I don't really care about once again. Blind is nothing. It does nothing to you, but I can always just heal straight away from that. He is weak to fire. He's also weak to lightning ultros here. Uh, but I don't think I have anything for lightning. Let me get my bib! Can I... Let's, tr let's see. Holy crap. Ah, crap. I messed that up. There we go. Can I suplex him? I don't think I can. We'll, we'll, we'll see, though. Yow! Seafood soup! Yeah, he just keeps on saying that. He is quite chatty. Just keep on... Can I suplex? Oh, no, I can't suplex. I still want to show that off. There are some insane things that you can suplex. Muscle heads hate them! Tentacle. Once again, uh, just have health constantly cast. Uh, so we're going to be going for Aura Bolt. It's going to be our best thing to do here with Elvis because I don't have anything stronger, really, that can work. He's just going to ke keep saying seafood soup. And if you just keep doing that, what, you know, what am I going to do? Uh, Bannon's regular attack isn't that great anyway, so don't feel bad about not using it. Just keep using auto, crossbow, tentacle, all that kind of stuff. Tentacle... That's not looking good for me. But luckily, Bannon's turn came up and he got to use health, which is ridiculously overpowered. I don't know. Like I said, a lot of this feels overpowered to me. We should be getting close here to actually finishing him off. Every time he counters with ink on after, after we use fire, but I don't, I don't care. I don't care. Th that's all, friends. Not folks. We're not folks, just friends. I guess we thrashed it. Don't bet on it. It's probably just hiding from us. Ew! Something stuck to my leg. Coco, over here. It's all right now. Watch out! I'm going to hit it with a blitz. You've been using blitzes this whole time. No, Elvis, not the blitz. Don't distract me, brother. What the hell? He's always been a tad zealous. Elvis! Don't worry about him. Are you sure he's okay, Bannon? You should know better than any of us. Any moment he'll flop right onto the raft. What the? Seems a little too perky. Ha! Elvis! Elvis, take care of yourself! And off flies Elvis, I guess? No! No, he went the other way! Why couldn't we have turned? Why couldn't we have turned? Glenn and Coco race towards Narsh while protecting Bannon. But what about Elvis, who was swallowed by the raging waters? And how is Luke faring after having penetrated the Empire's defenses in South Figaro? Is all going according to plan? Choose a scenario, and we take over the the Moogle. So I'm going to actually drop a save here, um, and, and I'll be right back. All saved and ready to go. So we have three options here. We can go with Luke, we can go with Elvis, or we can go with what I'm going to call the main party, because it's got more people in it. The main party is the easiest one to start with, so we're going to go with that one. Fleeing the Empire's troops, Ben and Glenn and Coco ride the rapids towards Narsh. I always want to say towards, not toward. Either way. But the going won't be easy. Yeah, yes it will. Don't you worry about it. Now Coco's in charge. Ah, we get her sprite on top, and the monsters have not changed. Party setup has, though. It's still not that difficult course with Glenn and his tools. 
And we are just raking in the experience as we continue going. Uh, there shouldn't be that many more battles to go along this river. But like I said, everything is pretty easy, especially since the status effect that's supposed to bother you is ink, which is blindness. And that's kind of broken in this version of this game. Oh, God, it sounds so good. Okay, we need to head back to the town of Narsh. And this way, we can, if I remember right, we can just make it here. When Luke first helped me, he fiddled with something right around here. Knowing him, there's probably some secret switch in this rock wall. Now, there is something that you can do here that I probably won't show off. No, I'm not going to show it off. But uh, you can put Bannon as the party leader by switching him to the front of the the party. And you can go rent a chocobo and it kind of glitches out, which is weird. But, yeah, it's just a, a small little glitch. We need to head through the caves once more. I don't think there are any new enemies here. Though, nope, we're rats once again. And when I say the Chocobo stable here, I mean south of uh, the desert. The one that we encountered before. Now, I believe we want to head up that way, but there, this just leads to town, right? Can I walk on the roofs? I can't walk on the roofs. Too bad. I, wanted to, I don't even know. I wanted to pull an Assassin's Creed, I guess. We'll go with that. That sounds, sounds good. Can't go this way either. I don't think we can get into a fight out here, otherwise I probably would have already. Let's head through the caves once more. Can't get in fights here. And they have upgraded the enemies finally. Uh, we have first class guys here. Uh, we can always heal. And it doesn't matter because an auto crossbow took him out. God. Like I said, th that makes it feel to me like a little bit overpowered because we are one-shotting everything we come across. And we do have another new enemy here, Wild Rats. Uh, I'll probably be able to auto-crossbow that as well. If not, we'll see if Coco can, can slice and dice it. Eh, she doesn't need to. That th that always made me feel a little overpowered, having, having Glenn and the tools. But maybe that's just me. This looks very familiar to me. But I'm going to have to follow that. Let's see if I can remember how that went. Goodness! What's that? I think this is a security checkpoint. If we follow the light exactly, we'll probably be okay. If we make a mistake, the light will surround us. To proceed safely, we must tag the glimmering light. 